Woke up this morning, did not have any water pressure. One of these control boxes on it, and it has a capacitor, and this is what's left of it. It's burned up. It's done. So without a boost, the pump motor won't turn. Seems like no big deal, just nobody in the world stocks them, because, you know, they don't want you working on your own stuff. Home Depot sells the box, the entire box. We well, need the capacitor, but they'll sell me the entire box today for seventy-eight ninety-eight, so close to a hundred bucks, right? The part I need is only twelve ninety-five, and really I could get it off eBay cheaper. So what am I going to do? So what I've done is I have made my own capacitor out of air conditioning capacitors. You can see this one's one hundred and five, so I've got a sixty and a forty here, which makes a hundred. These are normally plus or minus five percent, so that'll put me right within the cusp. And I get a reading of 100.9, so it puts me within the range. Now, you can see that capacitor is much smaller than just one of these. Now, it's not that these capacitors are by any means wimpier. It's that this is only turned on by a relay for maybe one, two seconds to get the motor started, and then it just sits there and occupies space. Whereas these in an air conditioner are run capacitors. And every moment that your air conditioner is running, these things are boosting the power to compressor. So these are made to last the lifetime of your air conditioner while it's running. This is made to last two seconds every time your pump cuts on for the life of your pump. So, okay, so we're just within the range. Now i got to do some more rigging and see what happens. So here I've got it hooked up. Got these two hooked in, going through an old extension cord into that box. Let's see what happens. I'm going to turn this on manually. And we are getting water. Check it out. Alrighty. Well, it lives. <laughs>